Hello, everybody. Today is Thursday, April 5th. It's 3.55 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The regular session for the futures market is going to close in about five minutes. And you can see my computer clock on the right and on the left is the time and sales, the E-mini S&P currently trading at 26.65.50. Okay, it was a pretty decent day for the auto trader today. First up is the DAX on the Superinco 14 tick. This is a very familiar pattern, a two trades back to back, a short and a long. You can see our split fill here. And this probably hit our goal and we had some slippage. This has a goal of 2000. And if I scrunch the equity curve up a little bit, you can see the rest of the moves here. So this really hit it right off the open and was done in the first 35 minutes of trading. Okay, next is the DAX on a 34 tick line break. And this looks like it only had perhaps one losing trade right here. And you can see the trades here. This turned out pretty good, pretty good trade placement. Maybe prematurely stopped out here, but it was at this point that we, looks like we hit our goal. So this did 1950. Our goal on this is 2000. Here is the template and our daily goal here of 2000. This is trading two contracts, a limit order with a five tick pullback. Okay, next is the NASDAQ on the Superinco 10 tick. And you can kind of see our equity curve here. If I bring this just a little bit tighter, a couple of nice trades here. Very good on the indicator signals. And so we came up here, had a little bit of a drawdown, and then up into the 930 area, we were finished. Well, not finished trading, but we were done trading by 10 o'clock here. This was all it took, and probably because our goal is 1500 here. So trading on this chart begins uh, pre-market at 8 o'clock. Okay, next is the NASDAQ on a 1597 Hike and Ashy chart. And this was moderately active today. Uh, definitely drew down about five or $600 here. And then uh, came back in the latter part of the day. And it was a couple of trades here that put us up to 1270 for the day. This was well shy of our goal, but still a very respectable performance. Okay, next up is the crude oil on the Precision Ranko 8150 reversal. This has been really consistent for us, and this is using our line break logic. And this looks like it had about four trades. We started off with a loser, uh, drew down very little, and then we had three back-to-back -back winners, as you can see here. and. It did 1,050 for the day. Our goal on this is 1,000, so we had three ticks per contract positive slippage. So remember, when we have a goal of 1,000, we're trading two contracts. Our goal is $500 per contract. Okay, next is the E-mini S&P on the 1597 Hike and Ashy chart. This did 975 for the day. It was moderately active today. We drew down about $500 or so kind of flat to sideways in the early going and then uh, came back with a couple of really solid trades here. Our daily goal on this is a thousand and our template is here. Okay next up is the crude oil on a 377 tick line break and this did 960 for the day. Moderately active on the trades but a lot of winners as you can see here. And then finally coming up here and probably probably hit our goal and had some slippage as we did 960 and the goal was 1,000. Here is our template here. Okay, next is the crude oil on a Super Anko 6 tick. This did 1,020 for the day. I'm guessing that our goal on this is 1,000, but it's 1,030. So one tick shy of the goal. This is using our line break logic with a stop order. This is one of the few charts I'm trading with a stop order, but it appears to be working pretty good. And this is our template here. So still uh, 
consistent on this chart and pretty solid performance on the crude using a stop order. Okay, next up is the crude on a Superenco 7 tick, and this is has a goal of 1,500, so shy of our goal, but using a limit order with a 3 tick pullback, trading two contracts. So it looks like we drew down a little bit, about $300 or so, and then came back with some nice trades and closed the day at 890. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching today.